back to Irish Football Fan TV. We are here today in SBG Tala. We're here at Richard Coyley. Got a fight next week in Bama. The face of Bama. Yeah, the face of Bama now. Um, your last fight um, finished in quick in quick fashion with a beautiful, beautiful knee to do. Wasn't bad, was it? No, no. <laughs> Have you ever hit a better knee in your life, whether it be in training or in a fight? No, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hit anyone with that in training. Um, so. <laughs> I'd hope not. No, look, come here, like, that opportunity just presented itself. You know, I'm an organic fighter, so the, uh, you know, I, I saw that Keith was changing levels um, yeah. in the fight. You know, Keith's very confident, and the height of respect for Keith, he's a very high level fighter, which is why the fact that I was able to land a knee on him in such a fashion was even more impressive. Yeah. You know, for the want to be for the sake of being egotistical. <laughs> um but yeah, no, it was the opportunity to present itself. I'm an organic fighter, you know, very quick reaction time, so yeah. um he stepped in, presented the opportunity and I took it. So the short answer to your question is no, I haven't landed a better knee than that. Um but that's because that particular opportunity hadn't presented itself at a given time. Yeah. And obviously you come from a uh, sense of kickboxing background as well. Does that as you say with the striking um and being a little bit quicker than him? Does that all stem from that that you're a moving? little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I've been harsh on you there, haven't I? Far quick, I didn't even see that. Um, has it does it kind of age you when you come into MMA that you're striking and everything like that is just on a different level to a lot of fellas, especially at this level of the game? Look, that's that's one way of looking at it. The other the other way of looking at it, that like you know, singular like people who come from singular styles and just try to use a singular style in MMA they won't go far yeah. you know so I keep saying everyone keeps focusing on the fact that I come from an extensive kickboxing background I do come from an extensive and successful kickboxing background that's well, been well documented in previous interview, interviews yeah. but I'm a mixed martial artist now you know like I'm training in SPG which is the best grappling gym in Ireland so John Cavanagh and Dave Roach wouldn't stick me in to a fight if I was just a kickboxer because they just level change it's a very simple formula you just level change take me down and then that, that, that's, that would be the end of the fight Okay. So I'm not just uh, uh, watch me call. People just haven't seen my grappling skills. Yeah. yeah. So you know when they do see my grappling skills, you know they'll, they'll be shocked. They, they'll, yeah, they'll be shocked. And you know so. And you made a prediction for next weekend mm. that it's going to be another spectacular knockout. Um, yeah. Or spe I'm going to add that or a spectacular submission. Okay. And yeah. um, how do you do you feel like? It's going to be in a similar fashion with the knee. Is it going to be another fella look, it's trying fairly, to climb in? Look, or? It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. Is what he's going to do. You know, it's yeah. like everyone comes up to say, "I have to can't reveal the game plan." We ever we all know what the game plan is going to be. You know, he's going to try and bull rush me, push me against the cage, or take me down. Yeah. You know, so that's that's the secret game plan that nobody wants to talk. That nobody can uh, can't reveal that. You know, yeah. that's what he's going to do. He's not going to want to stand with me. No. You know, he's not going to going to want to stand with me. Um, so. But look where you saw what happened when Keep McKay bull rushed, he walked into a knee and that was the end of the story. He tried to bull rush me up against the cage and just walked out of it. Yeah. Um didn't get me down, but if he did get me down, you know, I'd work from there and I'd just I'd work my ground game from there. Yeah. And work him into a submission. And um, obviously we've got Keeper Crosby training here as well yep. and um, he's fighting next week too. Yep. And how much does that help? Obviously is there a similar way class or similar yeah, weight keep and keep everything keep like that keep for training. Keeper's a beast. We were partnering up then the last few weeks doing positional sparring and yeah, keeper's a beast and I can't wait to see him fight as well. So hopefully I get to yeah. see his fight either before or after mine. Um but yeah, keep keeper's keeper's an animal he's he's gonna go far as well. That's the thing with SPG, you know, like we're we're churning out high quality fighters. Like there's no easy rounds. And SPG, you can't go in and go. Oh, geez, this is this is. We'll coast this one. Yeah. Each person, you know, is going to put pressure on you in different ways. Yeah. You know, and each person is is strong in a particular way. So if you have a weakness, it'll be exploited. Yeah. Until it's not a weakness, until you figure it out, and it's not a weakness anymore. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So I haven't been in. Um, you know, there's no scenario that I can be in in this fight that I haven't been in before in yeah. training with higher level lads. You know, because yeah, each exactly. person on the mats there is a champion. And I'm not just saying that arbitrarily. I was about to say, at 170 pounds, you've got, you know, you've got Gunny in here sometimes. And rolling on the ground with him must be one of the most difficult things you do in training. But look, even the guys, like everyone knows about Gunny and Connor and what have you. The, what people don't know is about the guys coming up just behind them that are equally. James you know, Gallagher, Dylan Chuk. Gallagher is like an animal. Yeah. Dylan Chuk. Luka Jelicic, Luka Jelicic, is, he should be, I think he's going to be the next guy in the UFC, or if not, he should be. You know, you have Charlie Ward, he was in the UFC, yeah. you know, you've just, and then, you know, you've Richie Smullen, 
you know, there's, there's yeah. just guys after guys. Like, I think we've got eight or nine fighters on Bama here at the moment, you know. But, uh, yeah. look, it's, you know, there's no easy training sessions, which is brilliant. Yeah. You know, and you can't just, you can't just rely on one thing or you'll be exploited. Exactly. You know, which is great for finding out your weaknesses and then addressing them. Yeah. And then you've got Robert Lezernak next week and you talked a little bit of, a little bit about him there. What's his name? A legend act, I think. A legend <laughs> Jack, maybe? Well, see, you don't Somebody know what his name is either. No. <laughs> Does it really matter? Well, so no, uh, no, we call him, we Daniel or Daniel, I don't know what his name is. Okay. Um, okay. From what you've seen of him, probably a few YouTube videos and stuff like that, does... I saw him for Sansa. Yeah. yeah. Does he give you, when you look at him, does he seem like there's any parts of his game that might cause you even a slightest bit of trouble? Look, every fighter can cause you a problem if you're complacent. Yeah. So I'm not going to be complacent. Okay. In terms of in terms of skill level, if I go in and pose my game plan, there's nothing. You know, yeah. if I can go in and concentrate on my performance and pose my game plan, um, you know, welcome out to Victor. Yeah. You know, I'm not concentrating on what he's going to do and what he's going to do. Like, look, it's very straightforward as to what he what he's going to do. Um, any fighter can put, can pose your problems. Yeah. You know, but the thing is, I've got an answer for those problems. Yeah. And then if he has an answer for that, I have an answer for him again. Yeah. So I have an answer for an answer. You know, no matter what type of no matter what scenario presents itself in the fight, I'll have an answer for it, yep. and I'll come out on top. So, and after that fight, um, which you're gonna win. Yep. Well, we'll just be positive. You're gonna win. Let's make predictions. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your prospects of Bam after that? What are you gonna say Going after for the fight and call out for after the fight? Terence Brazier, or Fairy Brazier, whatever you want to call him. You know, just the currently the Bama Lonsdale light or welterweight champion and he's also the hide and seek champion of the world as well because you know I can't find him and he's you know doing his best to dodge me dodge the fight yeah you know I actually I went into at Bama 29 I went into the cage and said listen give me the fight and he was there oh he didn't want to didn't want to know so uh, you know if he's he wants to fight journeyman that match up well with his style yeah okay he'd, he's saying that he doesn't want to fight me because I'm one to know it's not that I'm one it's it's listen I, I took out Keith McCabe in impressive fashion yeah Daniel Lenacek Got his name right there. there go. I think that's the first. I think that's the first time I'll camp. <laughs> it? It's the first time I'll camp. We Daniel is going to get taken out of it as well. Okay. Yeah. After that, two clinical, two clinical wins. You know, they have to put me in against them. They can go with journeymen that are dropping. They're get picking up wins here, then dropping losses. You know, and it'll make for a boring fight. But Brazier will just grind them out and what have you, and then I think it validates him as a champion. All right. If he fights me, he leads it with his chin, and if he does that against me. I'll just be taking his chin home. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, taking his chin on his belt, Thomas. Taking his chin on his belt. So <laughs> I'll leave him with the hide and see champion title. But, uh, but uh, yeah, look, he doesn't want to fight me. I don't care if he doesn't want to fight me. It's not his choice. Jude Samuel is the matchmaker. Um, and after this performance, I'm going to put on a performance that, um, that Jude won't have, a tr- have an option. Put the book me in. Yeah. Plus, in terms, of, in terms of the crowd I'm bringing, the last, the last, in the last bam, I brought the biggest crowd. Yeah, the, um, you know, the roar when you won was, Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I bought the biggest, I sold the most tickets for the last bam. I'll be there, thereabouts, I'm sure, this time as well. You know, of a huge support. And thanks, I just want to thank everyone who, who has supported me. Um, but, you know, it, it, in terms of business and in terms of entertainment value, it makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. So. And um, another potential fight down the road. Obviously, there was the Facebook beef a while back with Joe McCallaghan. Yeah. Um, he's. Going, he's been going around for a while now saying he's the SVG, the SVG, SVG hunter. hunter and everything <laughs> like this. We're sitting in SVG at the minute. Do you have a message for him now a few months oh, down the line? He's a or? terrible hunter. I'm, so, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting out in the open waiting to be hunted. <laughs> he's right here. What? He's right here. Putting up smoke right signals here, and all. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, look. We had a, we had a bit of a barney, but uh, look, the, the, the reason being was that, you know, my name, you couldn't get a fight. My name got mentioned. I said I'd take the fight, and he was like, "Oh, no, 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 we get a fight." <laughs> so look, and then we had a bit of a barney. But look, come here. Yeah. I actually think that fight will happen down the line. I actually really highly respect John McCoggan. I think he's a great fighter. It'd be a um, great fight, and it would be a great yeah. fight. Our styles would put on for a, an excellent match, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think that fight will happen down the line. I think it'll be for a title, and it should be for a title because it's a, it should be main event. And it should be main event card, and it should be a title fight because it'd be a great it'd be a great scrap. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I've the way to respect for Joe McCoggan. There's going to be that rivalry there because um, you know he called himself the SPG Hunter, and I'm willing Someone to be. From here I'm, wait, I'm, wait, off I'm waiting to be hunted. <laughs> right? Well, I just think my style matches up. But I listen, I'm not being arrogant when I say that. I'm being factual, and I don't, you can ask Dave after this. But I genuinely think there's nobody in the welterweight division that has 
my speed or my level. Yeah. Um, has my speed or hits as hard at me or has that style or even has an answer for my style. Um, you know, well, he calls himself the Irish Wonder Boy, and he's going to be the American Richie Coyle. He can call himself the American Richie Coyle. That's <laughs> that's what it is. But uh, but look, this you know, it, 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 even my mobility is different yeah. to Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy stands from distance and works off a psychic. A move, yeah. Yeah. move. You know, Connor's not the only ghost yeah. in SPG. You know, <laughs> it's, it's hard to catch me as well. But um, yeah, so look, in regards to Joe McCulgan, best look to him. I hope he does really well in Cage Warriors. But then yeah. down the line, you know. We should be meeting find yourself to the find yourselves to the same promotion at some find point. Yourself, find yourselves an opposite end of the cage, yeah, and get ready to go. That'd be that'd be a barn burner. Yeah, buy your ticket for that in advance. Definitely. And uh, then Dave, just quickly, how good is he? Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't scripted, for, by the way. <laughs> no, you didn't tell him that. Uh, for me, Richie has uh, probably the best stand-up I, I've. I've come across, yeah. uh, especially in mixed martial arts, I think uh, his accuracy and his movement in here is very difficult to do much of. Yeah. And I think, I think anyone that's matched against him is going to have real, real trouble, you know. I, right up, not only in Bama, right up in, into the, the high levels of the UFC. Yeah. I, I, I think, I think his, his style. You know his his, his stand up style is uh, and his, his take down the fence is excellent. He's very very good on the ground now. Does he's very well well rounded. Yeah. People don't realise that until they actually get in there with, with him. Yeah. You know, I, I fight him. And then then game plan was obviously I'm not going to reveal any of it. No, but, but you, how far along? How far along? I'll give you the short answer. I'll give you the short answer. Knock him out or submit him. How's that? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty simple, isn't That's it? That's the game plan. That's the game plan. Exactly. So. Right. Well, we'll leave it there. Interested in coming up to SPG Talent again? Check it out. We've got probably the best MMA facility around, um, and you're, you're not going to get better level coaches. You're, you're coached by me. You'll be coached by Eric, who's a high, very, very high level uh, jiu-jitsu black belt. Um, we've J- John Michael Shield, who's also an eight-month professional fighter. We've, uh, we've Steve Owens, and in terms of the MMA, we have one of the best MMA coaches going in terms of Dave Roach him and John Kavanagh are uh, valuable assets to the, to, to the team so and you know it's interesting right from beginner level <clears throat> no matter whether you're interested in martial arts you're just interested in fitness or you're interested in trying something different come up we look after you yeah, perfect cool. well thank you very much that's it for today make sure you like share and subscribe below and we will talk to you again soon bye bye dude thank that's you me. man cheers. cheers no worries Ready for you? Yeah, now O'Connell, uh, yes. out in SPG, train down 100%. here, travel yeah. down from just outside yeah, Newry. Just outside um, Newry, yeah. How good is how good is the training in this it's gym with all the people it's around? It's unbelievable. Like, yeah, it's top class coaches, top class fighters and stuff. So it's unreal. Like, yeah. Yeah. And um, obviously we're talking to Richard Coyley today. Yes. And um, he's fighting next week in Bama. Yeah. What do you think Rich, of his prospects yeah, and what is he like yeah. as a coach and Real good teammate? Fella, yeah, he's putting the work in. Like he's focused. He's fit. Strong. He's good coach. Like he's just he's got the right mindset as well. Like so. I yeah. think he's going to go in and get the finish. Yeah. And um, about yourself, Dan, how are yeah, you coming? How are you coming along? I've only been training a few years, you see. Yeah. But I'm working now. I'm an apprentice plumber up south, up north. So yeah, I'm coming down at the weekends and stuff and training away. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And um, why did you choose? Obviously, there's some other places up in Northern Ireland, like Next Gen, there and is, yeah. even Jiu Jitsu, like Tara. I'm, I'm at Look on Paddy, and I come down, and I've just been training ever since down here. You know, it's the right guys down here, the right sparring partners, the right coaches. So I just I enjoy down here. I feel comfortable down here. Yeah. Yeah. Just comfortably in the fact that this is just the best place to train in Ireland. One hundred percent, yeah, it's unbelievable. Like even the facilities. Like whenever I started off at home, I was staying in the garage. I just have an old boxing bag in the garage and gloves. Like so, yeah. to come to this place is unbelievable. Like there's bags, there's mats, there's cage, a ring, there's backstage, the the, the champ uh, PT. So it's unbelievable here. Like, and then um, then in terms of for yourself going forward, what's What's the idea I in this? Is it just to get fit or is it... Yeah, uh, I, need to, I need to put the work in. I just need to put the work in and just keep showing up every week. You know, my aim is to move to Dublin, hopefully at some stage, and go full-time and just train full-time. You know, I don't want to do anything else. I have to get up every morning and go to work, but it just has to be done. You know, I need, I need yeah. the money to come down here and train, so that's just the way it works. Perfect. So, Dave, um, obviously, I'm... Um I have an interest, obviously, in MMA, and yeah. uh, I might be something I look at getting into in the future. So I'm just wondering, like, as a beginner, or anyone maybe watching this video looking to get in, in, involved in MMA or joining the gym here, what would you say to them yourself, like, well, looking to join? What I would say is don't be intimidated. And, you know, 1% of people actually ever compete in mixed martial arts or kickboxing or jiu-jitsu that come down here. Most people do it for fun, self-defense, or just to get fit, you know? And... Uh, what I would say to you is never be intimidated because people's perception are wrong Richie's class is very technical the Jiu Jitsu class is very technical and when any, from, from, from what I can see any beginners that do walk in after that first class they walk out and they're buzzing and they're wondering why they didn't do, do this sooner you know and like people get the perception they're going to get their head knocked off them the hardest you're ever going to get hit down here learning is Bam, bam, bam. That's, you know, that you, 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 you're not going to get... Well, only when he does it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, I mean, you, 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 you're, you're not going to get beaten up. You're going to have fun, and you're going to learn how to, you know... You're going to learn self-defense, and how to get fit, and have fun doing it, you know? The key, the key thing to take out is, is, is for everyone, <clears throat> on the mats, particularly in the G2 class, is gentle art. We have age... <clears throat> sorry, we have age ranges from, like, seven years old to 70 years old and it's that, that big of a gap so it doesn't matter what your fitness level is what your uh, you know what your age is what your competency levels whether you're experienced in martial arts whether you're not experienced in martial arts come down and give it a go get out of your comfort zone believe me it's the best decision you'll make in terms of your lifestyle and fitness yeah and as far as the gym obviously we <coughs> came down here today and found like everyone we spoke to has been very welcoming yeah um, it's great like honestly um, we, we kind of were like oh coming in from uh, obviously well, well we fantastic coaches and we fantastic facilities so uh, everyone's welcome and you know we we we, we uh, any any ages you know you're never too old to do as well you know we've guys coming in in their 40s and 50s mm. that have come in and they've started and so you know, women as well, you know, women come in and jiu-jitsu is excellent and, and so is the kickboxing for self-defense for women. So, yeah. you know, ne ne never never feel intimidated to come in here. That, yeah. That's the message we would and like we to put out there. We also have just people who are casual gym goers. We have that, the SPG fit in there, so it's great fitness, great gym facilities in there as well. So, you know, it's, it's a one-size, it's a one-stop shop for all your fitness needs. That's a, that's, that sounds like a buzzword, doesn't it? It sounds <laughs> a buzzword, but look, it is what it is. You know, it's a, it's a great facility, you know, it really is. All right, cheers. Ample, well, ample packet. <laughs> also, if any of you guys are interested in, um, in getting into MMA or anything, come down to SPG, uh, SPG Tala and get involved with the, with the guys. Yeah, I just want to thank the sponsors as well that have really helped me out with this camp. Broadstone Motors, Peachtree East, 24-7 halfway cabs, um, Denor Meats, uh, No Pain, No Gain Nutrition, West Park Fitness and Irish Altitude Chambers. Um, they've all been a great help and health matters as well in terms of getting my cardio levels up. Thanks many for the, the support. It really has been a great help in the lead up to this camp. You see the benefits now on Friday, on July seventh on Friday. Right, so I'm gonna go. Just let it go. Just stay there. If it's tense, do a dual practice one. Yeah, won't touch it. If it's tense, do it. Right, you can jerk your. Okay. I'm just gonna leave. You want that open like that? Just like that. Not like that. Not like that. I'm gonna sew it off.